This is Snake. It's time for another episode of Skits for Snake, where we work together to teach you something about snakes, and then you work together to teach us a little bit about the natural world around us. Today, we're going to help clear the air a little bit. A lot of people are scared of snakes, whether it's because they don't have legs, well, some people think that's kind of creepy, or maybe it's because they think that snakes are dangerous. Well, some definitely pack more of a punch than others. But the eastern fox snake here, well, a lot of times he's more show than he is an actual threat. Snake here is a constrictor. That means that when he catches his prey, he hugs really tight, he wraps his body around and squeezes until the animal is dead. Woo. But other snakes are venomous. That means that they inject or they put in a toxin, a venom, into their prey or the animal that they're trying to eat. Now that venom usually does one of two things. One, it'll kill the animal. Or two, it'll paralyze the animal so that it can't move. There's a few different ways that we can tell a venomous snake from a non-venomous snake. And I'm actually gonna share with you this little piece of paper that helps share with us how to tell the difference between a venomous snake and a non-venomous snake. So you can see first is the head shape. Now keep in mind, this piece of paper, this guide only works in North America. Do not try and use these guidelines in South America or Africa. You might be led down the wrong path. But in North America, non-venomous snakes have a pretty slender head. Whereas venomous snakes have sort of puffed out jaw bones off to the sides. As for the faces, non-venomous snakes in North America have circle eyes. Whereas venomous snakes in North America have cat-like slit eyes. And they also have this little hole in between their nostrils and their eyeballs. Now that little hole is called the pit, and it actually acts as another sensory organ that helps the venomous snake search out their prey. Some venomous snakes in North America have this, a rattle. Now, this is used to help defend themselves. Usually, when a snake has a rattle and an animal hears this, it means that, well, that snake is really dangerous and that other bigger animal should go away. But, not all snakes that are venomous have this. Two out of the three of the snakes in our area, when we were the Great Black Swamp over 200 years ago, had a rat. Now that was the Eastern Massasaga, and that was also the timber rattlesnake. Now, I want you to take a closer look over here. Does this snake have a rattle on its tail? Here's his tail. Is there a rattle on there? Definitely not. No rattle. Also, what are the shape of snakes' eyes? Are they slit or are they round? They're round, aren't they? So, no rattle, circle eyes, and no pits. Our eastern fox snake, snake, is not venomous. But, snake can use something called mimicry to act a lot tougher than what he really is. One of those things is when it came to the rattle. Even though we already saw that Snake doesn't have a rattle, Snake can vibrate his tail really fast when he's upset. And when it vibrates, it sounds kind of like... Now that can be enough to scare some larger animals away. But something else that Snake does that's called mimicry or copying a more dangerous animal, is found on the top of his head. What color is the top of his head? It's copper, isn't it? Kind of like a penny. Well, that's the third type of venomous snake that we had in our area, the copper head. Now, even though it looks pretty menacing, the eastern fox snake 
will not hurt a person. Unless you're getting really too close and sticking your finger in his face. Well, maybe he'll send out a little strike. But Snake here has been around kids a lot. But that doesn't necessarily mean that snakes in the wild are going to behave as nice as Snake here. So always make sure to keep your distance no matter what the snake is. Observe, watch it. I'm going to bet it's going to slither off. Enjoy its natural environment out in the wild. Now, something else I want to share with you is that... Another question. Yeah, I know you do that. Oh, yeah. Snake wants to know, how do other animals use mimicry? Or how do other animals copy another animal to act like something that maybe they're not? Do you ever do that? Do you ever pretend that maybe you're meaner than what you really are? Well, this is the time in Skits for Snake where you have the opportunity to share that with us. So, capture anything you can on a video, whether it's a skit, whether you're role playing as the animal, maybe you're dressing up, or maybe you're actually giving a drawing, or maybe you have a game that you like to play that uses mimic. Hmm. And then share those videos with us on Facebook by tagging us at Wood County Park District, or you can use the hashtag skits for snake We're so thankful for all the videos you've been sending in, helping to educate the both of us. But we've got another question. So, duty calls. We look forward to those videos. We'll see you next week on Skits for Snake.